you are healed in the name of Jesus no weapon fashioned against you will prosper in Jesus mighty name you are healed you are well you are crying for business your business will grow your business will grow take it in the name of Jesus you also have business you are like a friend you'll have it in Jesus name progress is coming your way stop worrying God is with you stop worrying sister God knows your problem is not worse than other people's problems God is taking you far only wait 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 because God is taking you there in Jesus name in Jesus name but you have to take what you want it is well with you ma stop worrying your problem is you worry and when you worry you destroy your faith when you destroy your faith that which is coming to you delays and take time from today say I believe God he will do it in his time and it will happen thank you Jesus I'm Christina Green and I'm staying in Cosmos Dal around Centurion. I am worried. I'm worried. I'm worried about finances. I'm worried about my calling. I'm worried about my career. Yes, I am worried. As I believe that the Almighty God today has done it for you, what are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers? All I can say is believe in the prophets. And, and believe in God and believe in the prophets and you will prosper. Yes, it, it is not going to be easy, but by God's strength, you just believe and ask God to give you strength to continue believing and it will come to pass. Thank you. Creator of heaven and earth, your finance is already there. Believe only. Papa, you are healed. You are healed. You are healed. He's telling me, Trust in God. Do not lean on our understanding. Amen. Trust that God can take you Amen. to where you want to go. Amen. And it will happen to you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Madam Business, you will prosper. I'm seeing money in your hands. Money in your hands. In Jesus' name. What are we going to do about it? Amen. Let's we prepare. God. God has opened a door for you. Amen. It's up to you now. Amen. Believe in God, trust in Him. Amen. It's going to happen to you. Thank you, Lord. Now in Dwayne Zegaguya, you are looking yourself down. When you look at other people, you worry. Hey, Ungatimina. Ungatimina, I'm funny in a bang. You are like everyone else. Amen. You are a child of God. Amen. And it will happen to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me pray for you, my brother. You have it in Jesus' name. You have your peace in Jesus' name. Can you lift her up? Sissy. Everything happens for good to those who believe. Believe more in God. Your destiny, as you have started seeing, is changing. But just hold on. It's everything. It's going to come to pass like what you said in your heart if God can bless me and I have finance I will serve him this is what you will say all the days of my life take it in Jesus name ma'am can you please tell us your name tell us where you come from and also confirm the prophecy that you received from the woman of God today whether it was true or not Okay. My name is Tembusa Silabella. I'm from originally. I'm from Nelspruit. Um, I confirm the prophecy to be true because I was thinking a lot about my finances. Nothing is happening in my life. So when Mama told me that, um, I just said in my heart, if God can bless me with finances. I will continue to serve Him more. So that's what's always in my heart. It has always been in my heart. Yes, it's true. How are you feeling? I, sh I feel so okay because I was so worried that 
what's going on in my life nothing is moving and mama doesn't say anything and daddy doesn't say anything so today when she was telling me about my life she's just said sister everything that is happening around you it happens for a good reason so you must not worry so she just told me to hold on so now my faith is lifted i'll encourage people to hold on to god to continue to serve him they must not move on their positions that they are doing on whatever they are doing they must continue to do it because you don't know when god is going to speak with to locate you so i'm so happy i encourage people to come to church to seek for your for your blessings amen thank you ma'am stay blessed thank you so much i won't speak much cancel worry cancel talking by heart you know what i'm talking about yes. please Cancel it. It is well. Thank you. That's what I'm hearing. It is well. Thank you. It will happen. In Jesus' name. Do you know you are a pillar? Ma? Do you know you are a pillar? Please say more, Mama. From today. Amen. You must know you are a pillar. Amen. Pillar. Amen. A pillar. You know a pillar way. Amen. I Amen. won't say it. In the work of God. You yes. are a pillar. In the work of God. Now, yes. because you say you want to be a pillar. Yes. You are going to stand and be established. Hallelujah. As from today. Hallelujah. You will never shake again. Thank you, Jesus. They will talk, they will speak. In Jesus. But name. you will never shake. Hallelujah. Because you said so. Yes. And purpose it in your heart. Amen. It's coming to pass oh. in you. In Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Comfort Ngonyama. I come from Four Ways in Johannesburg. And uh, the, pro the professor that I got today, Mama uh, prayed for me. She came to me and she said, uh, do you know that you are a pillar? And I, for a minute I was confused. Uh, what did she say? Did she say pillar? What did she say? And then when I was closing my eyes and listening, God started to show me a picture of p pillars that stand on the corners like of a building and then I saw that this building that I'm seeing was a church so I said oh I'm a pillar of the work of God I'm the pillar of the work of God and she said yes from today God is establishing you as a pillar and you, are, you shall be established and you shall be unshakable and you shall be, not be moved and I was seeing this vision as she was speaking and I started to understand what she was talking about hallelujah amen ah, I was expectant I feel like I'm on fire I, I feel like it's a confirmation of what has always been in my heart because every time uh, I, I was always, God was always laying in my heart that I'm, I'm meant to be a pillar to support the work of God. That's why I was being attacked left, right and center. Because the moment I'm released financially and in my position in terms of doing the work of God and supporting the work of God that the man of God is doing, it means that uh, there will be no stone that is left unturned. So the devil would always attack me because of this burden that is laid in my heart. So I know now that it has been released. As God has spoken it, he has released it in Jesus' name. Being in the presence of God, you will, you know, when being in the presence of God, even if the, man, the woman of God does not touch you, even if the servant of God does not lay hands on you or prophesy you, the moment you are in the presence of this anointing, this this kind of presence of God, he transforms your situation. He manifests greater things in your life. Your life will be elevated, catapulted from one level to the next, just by being in this presence. There is a presence here. There is a, 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 a very dense presence of the anointing of God in this place. And when you're in the presence of God like this, he can't but transform a situation. You can't walk out of here the same as when you came in. He has a plan to elevate you. Just be in God's presence. So as much as it is a bonus for me to have been touched today, it's a bonus for, the, for God to have spoken you know into my life today but I came expectant and as the as mama was approaching me I was already on fire I was already shivering I was already I was already on fire I was already filled with the presence of God and already as she spoke everything was released now I just I'm just on fire now can you believe please I'm speaking promotion promotion to you can you take it promotion to you also what is happening to this one is happening to you also your promotion is coming nobody will stop it in the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Money is coming Amen. your way. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. No one will stop. Arguments must stop. In Jesus' name. Arguments must stop. In Jesus' name. Amen. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know? Yes. Or can you 
but God is with you. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received from the woman of God today, whether it was true or not. Okay, my name is Mukobe Papo. I'm from Ebony Park. Uh, the prophecy that I have received from the woman of God is, um, she said, uh, me and my partner, we must stop arguing. So we were arguing, even like, it's, it's like we were always arguing, even if something is small, we are arguing, even if, yes, so yeah, so that's the warning from the woman of God saying, yes, we must stop arguing. And definitely, I believe and I hope today it has stopped. We will never argue with anything small or big. Um, what I would like to say is, um, couples out there, you must stop arguing because arguing it will open doors for devil to attack your marriage. So we should stop arguing if we are partners. We must just solve our problems nicely. Yes. Right. Your time has come. Today, this week must never end before you hear good news. Are you hearing me? This week must never, I'm fighting, must never end before you hear good news. Your destiny must change. In Jesus' name. Must change. Your situation is not different like other situation. Your problem is you talk too much. Are you hearing me? Good. From today, okay, you will see your things will change. Vundando, come in. Kamba Vundando, na wera katafura. Na wera katafura. Eh. Suno wya baba. Eh. Kande mora bere. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kat Mr. Tazo Avalemanto. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare healing. Total healing. Right now in Jesus' name. This pain must disappear. Go to where it comes from. Now in the name of Jesus, come out. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. You are free. You are healed. In Jesus' mighty name. Katakoe. Stand up. Kadi Techeres. I'm Buzuru Kadi Fana. You are all for a chote. Thank you, Jesus. You are healed completely. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Confusion. Why are you confused? So many things. You don't know which one to take, which one to leave. God will direct you. God will give you the knowledge and the understanding. Uh, my name is Tunisani Paloi. Um, I'm from Guiani, but I stay in Hatfield. I'm schooling there. And then I'm doing a degree in civil engineering. So now it was supposed to be my third year, but then it's still my first year because I keep on failing one thing and then the rest I'm done. So now I'm no, I no longer know what to do and how to continue. That's why she said that I will never fail. And I'm so confused. I'm so confused right now because um, I've been applying into different schools. I'm thinking of changing the university or doing what, but it's not working out. Everything that I try to do as an option, it is not working out. So I have to bear the thingy and and work there so that I can pass. As I believe that the Almighty God today has done it for you in your life, what are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? Especially to other students who are facing the very same situation that you are coming across in your life, what can you say to them? Um, I can say to them that they, what they need to do is to keep on praying, keep on, keep on praying and trusting God that God shall help them to do what, what they think that it cannot be done. Because if you think that this cannot be done, 
if men can do it, only God can do it. So you just have to believe in God and he can do it for you. He can help you and then you will pass. You won't, you won't gonna pass only by your mind and by studying, but some things only need God. He is the author and the finisher of everything. Amen. Worrying will never add a hair on top of your head. Amen. And speaking of this and this and this will never help you. Amen. So please rely unto God. Amen. Wait. Amen. Don't rush things. Amen. Again, Amen. God will do it. Amen. You know what I'm talking about in his own time. All those that are behind you, I'm telling them today, you must go. You must go. Leave her hands. Leave her hands. To a lagma to a high. Second, Mawa Goyen. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray for him. Praying is an answer to everything. Thinking too much will never bring what you are crying for, yes. what you want. Yes. So you pray and ask God, God, I want one, two, three. And you believe yes. God will do it for you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I hold you, your hands? By these hands, there will be transformation. Amen. By these hands, Amen. things will come to pass. Amen. By these hands, there Amen. will be joy. Amen. By this hand, Amen. manifestation of the power of the Lord will be visible. Amen. In Jesus' name. Can I hold your hands too? By these hands, there will be building. By these hands, there will be manifestation of the power of God. Whatever you touch from today, you must know that God will do it. Amen. Whatever you touch from today, it's going to come to pass. Amen. Think. After thinking, touch. Amen. It will happen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yes. I have it. Can I hold you? Can, I, can you hold your wife? Don't fall. Clean. Hold your wife. Wifey, there is somebody who is trying to bring a wall here. Don't fall, I'm still talking. <laughs> trying to build a wall here. Things are not standing, they are crumbling. True, mama. So now I'm saying it by my own mouth. Amen. You will never separate in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You will never, never separate Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. You will never separate in Jesus' name. Amen. Because what is happening, what I'm seeing, Amen. the devil wants to separate you. Eh? Yes, mama. You have a beautiful wife. Yes, mama. Isn't it? That's true. And you are so handsome. Thank you, mama. Don't listen to these people. They are stupid. They don't know Jesus. God. Amen, so now stay together. Pray together. Amen. You are conquering as from today. Amen. Amen. Whomever that is trying to move you, Amen. I'm standing here as a servant of God. Amen. I'm saying you are moving Amen. from that chair Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. It is well with you. The prophecy that uh, we received from Mama uh, is very true and very accurate. Mama said that there is a, a wall, you know. He went on to say that they want to separate us. But I never saw it in that way. I never thought it that way. But when Mama spoke a word, the whole prophecy that he gave, my eyes were opened to now understand that, oh, this is the point. Because in our marriage, or we have been experiencing some financial struggles. Some things that we try to do, we find it difficult for them to happen. Yet, we were not struggling to that level. But now when Mama spoke, I now realize that all this is meant to, to separate us. 
to separate us. Uh, that, that is very true. And to just add on what Mama also spoke concerning my wife, she has been having some challenges at her workplace, and Mama spoke that a word and said, anyone who is trying to move here from a job, that person will be removed. So all that Mama spoke is accurate and very true. I'm so relieved, you know, I'm so relieved to an extent that not only am I relieved, but I have got a lot of light in my spirit pertaining to the occurrences which has been happening in our marriage and in our family. You know, you just have a, an awakening to say, oh, now I see this which we were going through. It was because of of this, and this is what Mama exactly have prophesied and have uh, addressed. You know, I first of all, I have advice to Charis Missionary Church members as myself. Let's hold on to Mama and Daddy. Let's hold on to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's hold on to the grace in Charis Missionary Church. This is our home. This is where things are revealed. That of which we are aware of and that that of which we're not aware of. So that's my first advice. And to all viewers all over the world, come to Charis Missionary Church. I've been in Charis Missionary Church and everything about me has changed. I came to Charis Missionary Church single. I'm married now. I have children. I'm so blessed. I'm thankful to God for my husband. I have a master's degree, which I never used to have. I just give everything about me has changed because of the anointing in this home. And this is my home, and I pray that God keeps us with my family, our, my husband, our children, keeps us in this home and continues to bless us in this home. Amen. Ma, I didn't speak with you, but in Jesus' name, it's over. Amen. The wall destroyed. Amen. That hill you used to climb, it's finished. Amen. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. As from today, I'm speaking peace unto your life. Amen. Greatness unto you. Amen. You will see great things because God is ready to take you to the next level. Amen. What is bothering you, you'll never see again. Amen. I'm praying before you as a child of God. Amen. Father, break this hatred. Amen. Break this thing that I'm seeing. Right now in the name of Jesus. Break 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 in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Leave. Go. In the mighty name of Jesus. I put fire all over this body. Anointing of the Lord all over here. In the mighty name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. I set you free. You are free. You are delivered. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father.